So um, let's talk about weed management. So weed management, like I said, also the same applies with fungicides, herbicides, disease control, and the like. Being proactive is the best thing that a person needs to, to do. So during land preparation, uh, preparation, once you have done everything, once everything is in the ground, sorry, once you have done your plowing, your disking, you need to move in with a pre-emergence herbicide. If you can afford this, it will really, really work for you and save you the trouble. Because immediately after plowing and disking, you find that you're not going to have any plant material in your field. So in this case, there will be no need for you to apply a glyphosate, which is a pre-plant bend down. It will not be needed. There's nothing alive there. So the only thing that you do is a pre-emergence herbicide, where you kill any seed which is not castor in the soil, which has not yet germination, I mean germinated. It helps you a lot. But in the case that you have done your plowing and then maybe due to circumstances there was some delay in, um, in, in, in planting and you have that, you make sure that you can combine a pre-emergence herbicide and um, glyphosate. You spray so the glyphosate to take care of all the, the already grown weeds and the pre-emergence herbicide will come in also and take care of the weeds that have not yet germinated. Then of course, once you do the planting, there will be some weeds, not, not be 100% uh, weed proof. There will be some weeds that are going to, to, to come out. You can come in again with a um, post-emergence herbicide. You spray and to, to get rid of uh, uh, these herbicides. But it's very important to know that, you know, use of chemicals and herbicides should only be done in a situation whereby you can't have manual labor, you can't uh, do it manually. In our case, we've got 20 hectares. Imagine doing manual weeding in a 20 hectares, 50 hectares, 100 hectares. It is too cumbersome, doesn't make economic sense. But you have got one hectare, two hectares. My recommendation, move in with, um, with people, bring in manual labor. Use other implements to do the weeding. That way you ensure that you save costs, besides saving costs also, you protect the, 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 the environment. So this is um, uh, very simple. Your field needs to be as clean as possible to ensure that there is no competition against the weeds. But once the caster grows to a certain uh, level, you find that it would be difficult for even um, people to move in and do the manual weeding and all other things but once it's strong enough they'll be able to compete uh, favorably with um, all the weeds and they'll be able to suppress the weeds because they will have formed a canopy for them to you know smoother these weeds in the soil so that's about that in terms of uh, weeding and, um, and uh, weed control very very important thank you